Hey there, YouTubers! Hi there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to another random video, surprisingly. Today, we're working with the microscope once again, but today is an unboxing and review of the AM Scope CAN CAN SLR Canon SLR DSLR camera adapter for microscopes, microscope adapter. Bleah. Basically, I already own something like that. Uh, this thing, uh, which we've used in the, pre the previous videos to capture footage from this. However, uh, it didn't fill the whole frame and had some other issues, mainly that the focal, when this was in focus, the eyepieces were out of focus, and when these were in focus, this was out of focus, it wasn't enjoyable. Plus, this piece, this little piece here, this doesn't just, just screw into the camera. It needs this, a T-ring adapter, which, simple enough, screws in just like that and we're able to move on with our lives. Now, initially when I did my first t go through with taking these photos, I said that this adapter wasn't going to work with my camera because I have a Canon EOS M50. And at the time, I didn't realize that there was a setting that allows the camera to shoot without a lens. And so, I didn't know that, and so I had to go buy one with gold contacts. That way it detects it as a lens. Well, this specific thing doesn't come with those gold contacts. So I'm going to let you, that, let you know that right now. So you will have to put your camera into that setting. Now, I will also need a, <laughs> an adapter for the adapter so that it can actually go on my camera because it's EOS M50 and these are meant for the old Canon uh, DSLRs. Now, as for when it comes to uh, unboxing, it came in a package like this. Just your standard Amazon bubble wrap packaging. No big deal. It came in a little box like this. I've already opened it. Uh, it wasn't taped. Or was it taped shut? It, I, it was not taped shut. And we open it up. It comes with these two uh, adapters, which they're supposed to be for varying microscope sizes, but I don't think we're going to have any issue with it issues with that today. And then inside the little box here, more bubble wrap. It comes in a plastic bag like this. And the reason why I took interest in this, because it has a lens. And I learned something called a uh, field flattener. And uh, this is for telescopes. But I figured maybe the same thing can apply for a microscope. Basically, uh, on certain telescopes, the image can't fill the entire frame of a full frame sensor. Now, this is not a full frame sensor camera, this is a crop sensor, but still, it probably wouldn't fill the full frame, and then there's fringing on the edges. And I thought, you know what? I wonder if I can find something like that for a microscope. I haven't the foggiest idea if this will actually work, but. That's what we're going to be here today. That's what we're going to find out. Because this was $120. This, I, I'm pretty sure, was pretty cheap. So if this can do something better than this, now it does have two times power, so maybe, maybe there will be an improvement. Maybe not. I don't know. But if there's no improvement over this, well, I'm going to send this back, get my 120 bucks back, and I'm going to recommend this, and I'll leave a, leave a link in the description if I can find it. Uh, so this is the whole thing. It's nice, solid metal. I, it does unscrew at one point, I'm pretty sure, but we're not going to mess with that. There's a lens cap here. No lens cap in here. And you can still see the lens down in there, actually, which is hmm, less than ideal. I would like to see a cover for that, but what are you going to do? So lens cap pops off. There's your lens, you can see right through it now. And it should just, like that, stack the camera on, so on and so forth, and we're ready to go. So, here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna take 
video, images, whatever I feel like uh, with this adapter. And then we're going to take images and video with this adapter. And then we'll compare and contrast. Now you may be thinking, Doc, how, what are you going to compare and contrast? Are you any good at making microscope slides? Well, as the lab coat suggests, no. <sighs> uh, I haven't made a proper microscope slide. Well, a good one anyways, uh, since high school. And even then, uh, good is a subjective term. Which is why I have this thing. This is a box full of microscope slides. So, uh, pre-made microscope slides. So why learn how to do it if the internet provides it with you anyways? And we've looked at these before when we first got this thing. So, yes, this will be exciting nonetheless. So let's take a look underneath the microscope. What you're seeing in the background is slide one of three for the AM scope adapter. This is the one with the lens, the whole thing we're supposed to be reviewing today. Now, earlier I had said we were going to do the one without the lens first, but as you'll see later on in the video, it's best that we go with this. So in the background, you're seeing dense connective tissue, and I rack through at least three of the powers. I actually don't think I went all the way out uh, to the lowest, lowest power. I forgot I had four powers instead of three. I think that happens through the rest of this. So let's move on to the next slide, the second slide. This is slide two of three for the AM scope. What you're seeing in the background is root hair. And again, we're just racking through the various magnifications going from lowest all the way down to the highest. I Again, I don't know if I actually racked through all four of the magnifications. I may have stuck to only two. Uh, the focus did mismatch with the eyepiece however as i've stated as i'll state later it's much better than the other adapter and as you can see these images fill the entire screen there's minimal fringing around the edges i mean i will say everything looks dim but that's not the adapter that's the microscope's light i have it cranked to full power and personally at the highest powers it just isn't bright enough it needs it like another 10 notches but let's move on to the third and final slide for the am scope adapter this is slide three of three for the am scope adapter with lens and this is where i realized i was not going up to the highest highest magnification. So I start at the second highest magnification and then go to the highest magnification. I do not believe I'd have to look through here to see if I actually went to the lower settings for this, but what you're seeing in the background is a mouse kidney. And as we zoom in, we can see those cells. I think we can even see nuclei of each of some of the individual cells. So nice, crisp, ish i mean i'm trying to focus on a screen that's tiny so you know bear with me here <laughs> so if it does look if it looks out of focus that's not the lens's fault that's my fault i am not an experienced focuser for microscopes but this is the mouse kidney now let's move on to the adapter without the lens to see how that compares Alrighty, this is the only slide I do for my other adapter without the lens, and the reason is because I don't feel like I need to go any further. So, the other adapter, the one with the lens, was able to focus at all four magnification levels. This one does not have a focus at the lowest magnification. Now, are you going to use the lowest magnification for images? Maybe, maybe not. Truth be told, if you don't want to get a full-on, like, low-power microscope, what I would call a macroscope, then, you know, and you want to use your normal microscope and kind of DIY some stuff to try and get it to work, then you wouldn't want to use this adapter. Among other things, if we look at the footage here, there's a bright spot in the center. And as we move out, we can see where the lens where the image cuts off and we just get this dark circular pattern and there's no light hitting the sensor. And 
if we look at all the, the, the higher magnifications we're trying to rack focus, we can see fringing. This is where, you know, we start to see the light and the image get broken up into its colors. You start to see kind of a rainbow effect. And this is on the mouse kidney. I didn't go back and do any other ones. It's so you can really compare the slide three, the last image we saw to this slide. And there really is no contest. It just does not look very good. I mean, the center is just is so much brighter than the outside edges. Why? I haven't the foggiest idea. That wasn't as apparent in the other one. So let's go back to me by the microscope and hear my final thoughts. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting for, you know, what would actually happen with this product. But I wasn't expecting that night and day. I guess, you know, that's what happens when you spend significantly more. I still don't know how much I spent on the original thing, but I can tell you it wasn't, it wasn't anywhere near a hundred dollars. Should you be using an S, a DSLR or a mirrorless camera to be taking pictures with the microscope? Maybe not. Maybe an actual scope camera. And then also, I it's hard to rack focus perfectly on a camera like this. Uh, a lot of my own photos I've taken without, you know, non-microscope wise have that same issue. I just can't get the focus perfect because I'm looking at this tiny screen or I'm looking in the eyepiece and it's just hard to get the focus perfect. With all that in mind, would I recommend you buy this product? If you, do, if you have a mirrorless or DSLR or whatever and you cannot afford a full microscope camera or you want to be able to use the full resolution of your camera then absolutely now you want to make sure that you can get one that actually works with your camera uh, this one is meant for Canon DSLRs I do not own a Canon DSLR but I do own a Canon EOS M50 and then I own this adapter which changes this to what my actual camera can use and read and I'm and I'm glad that I found how to turn off lens detection because with that off it really made things a lot easier and a lot more simple so should you buy it kind of depends on the situation do you need it mm. Only really you can make that decision. Anyways, if you have any more questions, leave a comment down below. If you want to see me do any more microscope videos, please let me know. This previous microscope video is my most popular video on my channel. So, you know, there's something to be said about using this again in the future. But in the meantime, I would like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New videos once a month, whenever I feel like it. And, uh... Good night. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Oh, you're still here? I thought I told you to go home. Oh, you want more? I'm flattered. Check out the playlist. If you want exclusive content, check out my Instagram, doctor underscore sheep underscore YouTube. That's all lowercase. If you want to help the earth, subscribe. When I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to plant 10 trees. If you feel that's too small, then check out my channel tour where I lay out even bigger goals. Finally, stick around for the next 20 seconds and give me that sweet watch time. Bye.